Good day, everybody. Brian here at quantlabsnet.com. Today's May 24th, 2025. I just wanted to show you uh, after using the latest Anthropic Claude Sonnet uh, 4, which just came out. I'm actually using the most expensive one, the reasoning model. I'm also combining it with the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. It's known as experimental with the latest features, and uh, that's expensive as well. In fact, what I'm about to show you took about 10% of my monthly budget. That's how expensive it is. It's getting as expensive as a high-end uh, chat GPT models, but the quality of the code and output is probably 100 times better than what on the best day that chat GPT can produce. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a breakdown here. I'm going to show you how sophisticated it is right out of the gate. So right here you can see um, limitations that I hit with what I ran. I could have done this in C++. It would have taken a long time. I did it in Python, very deep, and a lot of code was generated. Some of it got working. Some of, I, some of it I didn't get working. So generally, here's the limitations for HFT specialized coding for cut uh, like bid and ask spread uh type of strategies and options okay so here is what it says okay this is a simulation for educational purposes only real hft system requires uh specialized hardware we all know that fpga and asics co-location with uh, exchanges direct market access and specialized network infrastructure we're talking about the billions and dollars worth of microwave pretty well. And then the software side, uh, C++ or FPGA implementation for true low latency in microseconds. So I've already put up and shown that in a previous demo. And then we also need real-time market data with actual bid and ask spreads or bid and ask data. So that's very expensive in itself as well. So where I'm at, it's very advanced, and I'm pretty sure I could generate the code for what I need when I'm showing you on the limitation. I am at the point now convinced that this version 4 from Anthropic can clearly do it. Um, it's just right now, this came out a few days ago. It generates a lot of buggy code, so you're going to get a lot of exceptions and errors depending upon the language you use. But the problem is, um, I'll give it a couple of months, and it's going to be much, much better. Okay, so I am posting this. Uh, set of files in my uh, quant programming membership group, which means it's profitable. Because it's so expensive now, I am very convinced I'm going to have to do something about this. If people want me to generate this kind of code, uh, workable code, it's going to be very expensive to do because the intensity of the computer computerization utilization that comes with it. I had prompts running up to 20 minutes long. I couldn't imagine the computation needed to generate what quality of the code I got, plus the length of time it took to generate. These are very challenging uh, problems I give it, okay? So let me show you the first uh, thing we did, or I did. Some of you may or may not know, um, I have a, a set of, uh, scenarios where I've shown reporting reports, Word documents generated by AI again, uh, about this time 45 different instruments across the board, across all futures with very deep options, suggestions, and future suggestions, combining them to optimize any trading opportunity that, that, that AI can find, and then spit it into a report. But then we've got, as I said, 45 different ones, including S&P uh, 500, gold, oil, all the currencies, all the big crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the like. And it generates code. So I thought I would test it first without my summary because I can take all those 50 documents and then feed them to get a, a summary a document, uh, like, like, like about... I don't know, 20 pages worth. So I'm showing you both versions of what it generated. So in my case, um, we've got, uh, well, 
we've got here um, some different, uh, uh, let's see here. Okay, so this is without the summary. Okay, these are the reports I was talking about. All is here you're finding are all those future contracts, Australian dollar, Bitcoin, uh, Canadian dollar, cotton, the Swiss franc, and so on. Okay. Uh, in there, we've got this new strategy that I got back, and it's it, it kind of works. Um, it generated a report here, uh, this one, because they asked for a summer report. This is a simulation, and there's a difference between that simulation and then running actual live coding, which it could do, but you got to go deeper, it gets more expensive, more computational power, it gets more complicated. But this is the chart it, uh, it generated. I didn't ask for this chart, but it gave it to me. So um, essentially, obviously, this is just for demo purposes only. This is the first version of it. I would have to go back in and tell it that you're not giving me the live PL. I have to tell it then it's giving me the volatility versus opportunity score. Obviously, there there's a cumulative report uh, profit which I asked for. And then the breakdown on the weight allocation among all the different contracts for $100,000 portfolio. So it's kind of messed up, but this is the first cut, and that's part of the iteration. If you keep doing that, and every day with a different combination of strategy or of reports and stuff as the market changes, it gets very expensive to generate this AI uh, code, uh, be it in Python, probably a lot more expensive than. Uh, C++ for sure. Um, so there's that. Uh, so in here, we've got uh, a couple of files generated. We've got our requirements file. We've got a massive uh, readme file I've included. Okay, so this is before the actual summary file. This is using only from those 45 report files I just showed you. Uh, and then we have another version here with the summary file. So I've got, as I said before, 45 uh, documents for each future contract and strategy analysis and create a summary. So this is what I'm about to show you is with a summary uh, file. Okay. Um, so with no, uh, sorry, with the summary. Okay. Um, so I believe this is the, the, the document we're dealing with here. So um, this is uh, uh, Gemini that creates this. Uh, Gemini is much better at creating written content, and Thropic's better at generating a coding at this present time, May 24th. This can all change. Like I just watched a video of uh, Zuckerberg. He's got the llama. That's going to be the open source. But he's also admitted he's working on a what they call a behemoth model that's still to be released. I don't think that will go open source, but that's supposed to come and supposed to blow away both Gemini and Anthropic. We'll see what happens there. Uh, on top of um, this report, um, it will go through all 16 of those reports and it'll come back and saying, well, out of those 16, only. Uh, only uh, maybe 16 of them are tradable, okay? So it, it goes through a lot of data, okay? It uses Black Shoals, um, Arima, Call Put Parity, all this stuff. And it's looking for hedging, arbitrage opportunities, and it will come out and, and suggest different scenarios for maximum profit. Okay, we've seen those before. Um, so then I, I take that summary document and then I feed it into an AI, the Anthropic one, version four, with reasoning, and fed it um, some stuff. So on the console, let me just see if it runs here. Uh, let's see. I think it's this one. Okay, that's yeah, this one. All right, and here is a summary of a one minute simulation of it running at a supposed high frequency buying whatever it thinks is best, okay, based upon the market data that I provided it, okay, and then it also generated uh, a report, okay, 
So here's the report uh, right here. So this is a minute simulation. So it's gone from 1529, zero seconds, to one minute. You can see here it's already gone up almost double. Okay. So you can imagine, uh, and this one that's making the most is a cash futures arbitrage PL. And then we have an options HFT PL and a futures market making PL. So out of that, this AI is so sophisticated to run multiple uh, strategy types, as you can see here. It generates what it thinks is the best strategy under these ty uh, types of strategies. Again, cash futures arbitrage, options HFT, or futures market making PL. Okay, using that data and the summary I gave it and the allocation weighted. So comes up with it, comes up with the best one, cash futures arbitrage. What instrument? Well, we can see uh, all the allocation here. It's probably doing uh, gold, it looks like. Anyways, you get the idea. So that's where we're at with that. That's workable. So then, as I said, where it gets more expensive, okay, is going into the director I just showed you. I have here now incomplete coding projects. In here, um, these are two documents. So I've included a whole chat with all the data, all the reasoning output that came from Anthropic. Okay, and you can clearly see how this particular model, version four, Claude Sonnet reasoning, and how it works out the scenarios I gave it with just one summary file. And when you look at it, it goes very deep, very deep on optimally coding up and generating code for a high frequency trading scenario. So once again, if you were to get access to this, you would quickly start learning on how it's done by an AI. And it's done by an AI optimally. And that AI has got to source all that data from somewhere, be it uh, research papers, I don't know, maybe some GitHub re repository on GitHub or somewhere to generate this kind of code. And this is like institutional level, Wall Street uh, level, high frequency trading coding in Python. It's very capable now of generating that. The reason I terminated it is because I got to a point where I kind of got it running, didn't generate anything. And this is with live data and in Python as, as, as well. So it's very expensive to, to run this. It's about, uh, like I said, I, I already spent about 10% of my entire allocated monthly budget just to run the, these type of simulations and generate these kind of codes, uh, uh, generate this kind of code in Python. So I can imagine how advanced the C++ must be to do this um, and the expense of it and the, and the uh, and the utilization from the computer server's point of view to get that kind of code done. But I do believe it's very, very capable of getting to that point. It's going to be done optimally and clean. So it comes back to now, what do the high-frequency trading shops do? What happens to them? Are they going to be valid? Are they going to still be able to make cash? Of course they will. But will they start using this kind of AI and the capabilities of this AI? most likely. So what happens to those people that are supposed to do this type of research, to do this type of quant, uh, strategy development, quantitative strength, try, what happens to them? I question the longevity of these roles now um, because the AI, especially in version four, give it a couple of months where it can actually correct the code as well on the generating of the code. Uh, current version four and give it a couple of months the way it's accelerating it will fix it on the fly even in the reasoning the quality output you can see the sampling of where it's at today so that's where we're at so now we're at a point where this is very expensive i don't think i don't think people are willing to pay for stuff like this it's kind of shocking but there's two things that come out of it if you want to learn how it's done 
you know, you, you try to get access to these files, uh, especially what I'm working on. Because people have told me they don't know how to prompt any AI model to get the level of where I'm at with what's being generated, chart, plot, and all, and be it if it's a Python or C++. They don't know what to ask it. That's where my capabilities come in. Well, that's all I do every day, 20, almost 24 hours a day uh, for the last seven months. So I know how to ask you. So we're now to a point where I have I talked about a membership, and I got to ask myself, what do I charge people now? Because it costs me money. People will be able to, to reap the benefits of what's generated here, and I'm still figuring that all out. So I'm always open to hear what people have to say on this. Um, it's important. Because I'm going to start offering free trials in the next week. So I have to know what the value is for this stuff. And I've put up a lot of uh, Python code, C++ code already. I can generate five, six projects a day um, as I'm going through this. But um, for now, this is the more essential stuff because these are from my reports from the Futures and Options Market. And it's using real-world futures data. As I said before, I just don't have access to the option chain data to generate the bid and ask, um, the option chain data from the options. So I just wanted to let you know where it's at, how far along we've come with this chat, or version 4 from Anthropic. One trend I'm seeing has happened to me three times now. Because the Anthropic is generating still a lot of errors, either C++ or Python or a lot of Python runtime exceptions. I take all of that code, all everything that's generated, and I feed it into uh, the Gemini 2.5 Pro to clean it up. And usually Gemini can clean it up and get it into a runnable state. That's the progression I'm doing now. Um, I don't know if Rock 3 is at this point. I might test it out. Definitely, I don't test anything from OpenAI at all, except for the image generating. That's it. All the code and all that, like I said, Google's great at certain types of prompting for coding right now. Anthropic's still the king of the bees. And I'm sure at some point, uh, DeepSeek or whoever from China is going to come up with something brilliant like what they did in uh, February. But we'll see. Everything changes so fast. Other than that, thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to know more, Go over to our website and just click on the Learn tab or go into the description of the video. You'll see, look for the Learn uh, the, the tab, the registration where you get my C++ and HFT free ebook. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.